Okay, so today I'm going to the Habitat for Humanity Restore. Um, honestly, I haven't been here since I was a child with my mother. So, um, let's go see what they have. I know there's about two or three in my area. Um, they each sell different things. So, let's find out what the one closest to me has to offer. Okay, They got corn. Hmm. So, you can get a little bit of everything in the habitat for humanity. I don't know if it's weird to be recording. So, when I see something interesting, I'll record. But I'm not going to record the whole time. And this part over here is really giving me thrift store vibes. So. Definitely not a grandfather's clock. This is really cute. It's $1,500. Not getting it, but kind of love it. Look at this table. It's the right shape. Probably not the right color that I want, but definitely the right shape and the amount of chairs I want for my dining room. Of course it's on hold, but that's kind of what I'm looking for. Granted, we are not at the decoration point or buy furniture point. I can make this, I think. Anyway, you see they have a lot of furniture, um, trinkets, chairs, uh, dishes, lighting, and of course, um, construction materials, which I'll show you when I get a little bit closer. So, I mean, oh, this is nice. Too big for my house, but definitely nice. show you more as I see it but this is definitely a place you can come to grab some inexpensive pieces but keep looking so I'm looking at tables that they have available and I'm really coming to the realization that um there is a good chance that I'm going to have to buy a brand new table. Or I may have to get a table and do some resurfacing of it. It really DIY with the table. Didn't really want to do that, but something that we may have to do in 2021. But I'm just showing you some of the tables they have for sale. Most of them come with chairs. And the really good ones are sold already. <laughs> and they sell paint. And I actually need to pick up a can of paint today for the painters to paint the insides of my closets. So the question is, can I find white paint and probably like a lotion um for the lolo Ooh. I'm not familiar with the brand but it's going in my closet so I don't think it really matters that much water based latex paint lotion interior or exterior yeah uh. I don't know what kind of paint this is, but I think it's $13, so I'm going to grab one. Oh, they don't have any in white. 
Hmm, do I care about a gray closet? It don't look gray. It looks white to me. I think this is the paint we're gonna get. Before we go that trip to Home Depot. Okay, so they also have doors. And I don't know if everybody knows, but doors are really expensive. Um, which I had no idea, because how often do you buy a door unless you have a home to put it on? So, um, their prices are. Oh, where are they? These are interior doors. Okay, so the prices are as follows, which as you can see, at least I think you can see, it's pretty inexpensive. It's like a fraction of the price. And I think they're used, but doors can be sanded down and colored accordingly. They also have screen doors, which is probably what I would be interested in. Of course, we're not at that point yet, and I don't have any measurements with me, but this is definitely on my short list of places to go to get a screen door. If I'm not gonna buy new, which I'm not trying to buy new. Oh, they also sell windows. It's nice. Timmy was saying that too. Then they have tools, plumbing, Let's go see what's happening in the cabinet area. Because as we talked about before, I need a new kitchen. Oh, and they sell appliances. Look, it's the butcher block countertop that the contractor was telling me about. Um, I do believe that is the countertop I'm gonna go with. And check it out, it is currently 219 or 220 basically. Um, they also have a sale going on, which different tags get a certain percentage off. But this is actually really good to know. Hopefully they have it, and it's time for me to actually redo my uh, kitchen. So I'm about 75% sure I'm gonna go with a butcher block countertop. Ooh. I like this. So over here they have like a lot of the flooring. I was thinking carpet squares might be the move for the basement. Um, poor laminate flooring. I mean, basements always run the risk of leakage. But I do want it to be a usable space and to be quite honest with you, I kinda hate basements, so I want it to be less basement-y. But they have all the laminate flooring, water resistant laminate flooring, stacks and stacks of them. With the prices. Now, I don't know what the growing rate is, but I'm sure these are good prices. For what you're getting. What else is in here? This is definitely a um, place I'll have to come with. with um, a contractor. So I definitely better pick one that doesn't mind this sort of looking for a diamond in the rough thrifty which I think I've found him but we'll see. This is nice for a kid's room. It's 
really nice for kids, huh? How much is it? Oh, it's eighty dollars. You clean this up? I ain't got no kids, but I'm just saying. I got some vintage stuff. This old school. It's 120. It's nice. I can't have nothing that big. My area is too small, but that's nice. Yeah. Ooh, electrical. I think I'm going to do tile in my bathroom. So, again, nice to know that this is something that's available here. Now, I heard the tile is expensive, but it lasts longer. Than that other stuff that you use on cards. I think it's called. Oh, I don't remember. Those little pop into it. Shower combo things, little plastic thing that just pop in. I can't think of the name of it right now, but I have one in my bathroom now and it's discolored. So. I'd like something where that wouldn't happen. I don't have to worry about that happening. Ooh, they got doors for cabinets if I wanted to keep my cabinets, which I don't. Home Depot, Hampton Bay. So I wonder if Home Depot donated it to Habitat for Humanity. But I mean, the options are really endless. This is a nice cabinet. Of course, someone bought it, sold, but it's nice. Dated though. Now the cabinet piece, I think, is gonna be a little bit more difficult to find, and I may be in a situation where I'm gonna have to buy those new because I have specific measurements and things that I need to happen. Um, but. It's, the option is definitely not off the table. Ooh, it's a vanity. I think that's a little bit long for my bathroom. <gasps> Ooh. That's big. Too big. So, I guess that's a... I don't know if you call it a a benefit or a curse, but my space is, the space that I have to fill is so small. A lot of things will just not fit. And I just have to, um, <coughs> work within the parameters that I have. So it does limit me. Um, it does, I think, will put me in a situation where I will be going and buying things 
brand new. But it's not gonna stop me from looking. A countertop dishwasher. Okay, never heard of this. What? Okay, well you see something new every day. You learn something new every day. I've never seen a countertop dishwasher. Never. Looking at it, it looks like it's throwback. I'm going to have to Google this when I get home. <sighs> Not getting a dishwasher, by the way. I've decided that I need a counter. I need a cabinet space, and I'm not a dishwasher type person anyway. Um, so this is an electric stove. I do not like electric stoves at all. Um, it's just a personal preference, obviously, but I prefer a gas stove, and as you can see, there's not any here. So if they had some, they must have sold out. But anyway, I will have gas stoves. Oh, washer and dryer. Oh, this is the sale. Blue 25% off, pink 50% off, gray 75% off. And all appliances are sold with a seven day warranty. Seven days? Hmm. I would not buy appliance from here. Okay, let's look at the bathroom pictures. Since I do believe that would be my first renovation. Okay, so over here you see sinks and toilets. I am. Um, Ew. This bathtub. This bathtub is light as a feather. The contractor told me my bathtub I have currently, which I'm not getting rid of, is about 400 pounds. But I'm sure it's the original bathtub, so that is to be expected. Oh. Yeah, look at this sink. I love a double sink in the kitchen. I want nothing else. Anyway, I don't really see much in the way of bathroom fixtures um, that I would buy. I mean, I need a toilet and a sink, obviously, vanity. Um, but I've been looking around at different stores and I think that um, I'll be able to find what I need. Um, it's going to be very specific in that for a design aspect of what I want. Ooh, a drain protector. So, they don't really have that much for me, but I like the look, so. Medicine cabinet. So, the habitats for humanity. I think a great place to start if you're on a budget and even if you're looking for some furniture to repurpose, I think it's a good place to start. And of course, the proceeds help with the habitat for humanity foundation that builds houses and gets people in the houses so and I definitely saw some things at my new home that I would definitely donate to them uh, I think all I'm getting to go is this can of paint which is kind of funny I didn't even think about how I could possibly even get paint 
from here, so I just saved my six. So some money and a trip to Home Depot. And I've also know what I can expect from this particular habitat for humanity. So I'll definitely go to the other one in the near future. And soak out what they have. Well, let me get out of here. I need to go check on these contractors. Totally random and unrelated, but I um, can't resist looking at records. Old records when I see them. I'm not going to call myself a collector. I'm not anything as impressive as that, but... I do have a few records. Um, I use them as art currently in the place that I live now and hang them up on the wall framed. I will continue to have them. And my new house that I'm turning into a home. Like I think I have paparazzi. I cannot wait to play that on my record player. But just a little random stop here at the Habitat for Humanity. Oh, look at the show. So, I'll let you know if I find anything of interest. Okay, so I just left the um, Habitat for Humanity Restore, and I just only I only got this um, paint, but it's really cool because it's um, recycled paint. It's called Eco Tone Paint. Um, so it'll serve my purposes. It's literally just to paint my closets. So. That's cool. There's another Habitat for Humanity store that I can go to. Uh, quite frankly, if I need, if I was gonna go, I should probably go today. And they close at four, so the chances of that happening are very low. They are not open on Sunday, of course not. But um, I'd say that was a great fact finding um session oh i ain't got no earrings on okay this is done to the house